Hi, as I see it there's one small problem with the embed and that's moving from prototype to production. It's a thing I get asked quite a bit about and I've done a few notebook pages on it. But I've been working for a while and I think I've now got a better solution. So here is the programmer I've designed. It's basically got a small button to start the programming process, a USB port to connect to the PC and another port here to connect to the target device. When the ISP programmer is plugged into the computer's USB port, it shows up as a removable mass storage device. Programs that are created from the embed website are compiled into binary files, which can be dragged and dropped onto this device. Let's walk through that process to see how easy it is. So before we go any further, we need a target device to program. This is one that I made earlier and it's pretty much as simple as it gets. We have the processor, Cortex-M3, some LEDs, a programming port, USB solely for power, and on the back we can see a crystal and some passives, just enough to get the bare bones PCB working. When I plug it into the USB, you can see that at the moment there's a simple program that just flashes an LED. So let's do something more elaborate with the LEDs. So here's a Hello World program which I've made. And you can see I've got two buses of LEDs, the red and the green. And it basically flashes them in a Knight Rider-like pattern. So if I compile this, and then send it to the flash drive, Now that my binary file is on the programmer, I can plug in my target device and program it. You can see that when plugged in, the target device gets power from the programmer. The program is, is done by pressing the white button. And you can see the new program is now running. I've managed to talk for three minutes about something that normally takes three seconds to do. It's as simple as programming the embed that we're all familiar with, just this time you can do your own custom PCB instead. Let me know what you think.